had a, a growth on my uh, right hip and I was keeping an eye on it and it changed colors a little bit. And we had the nodule removed and uh, the guy in the clinic said, ah, don't worry about it, it's 99%, no problem. But two weeks later, I got the word I had Merkel cell cancer. We went for a, a PET scan and the PET scan showed I had a, uh, the tumor was on my heart, which is very rare. So here's a patient who has a large tumor mass that's sitting in his pericardium and that is constricting his heart's ability to function. And we had to try to do this in a way that minimized the radiation to the underlying you know, chambers of the heart so that long-term function was good. He did what he said he was going to do and uh, a minimum damage to the heart, but maximum to the tumor. We watched his tumor shrink over time, but we also began to notice that there was some subtle damage that was developing to his heart as a result of the therapy he was receiving to treat his cancer. So we intervened early, we offered him medications, and this actually helped to improve his situation substantially. Only because of our ability to do what we did on the radiation side and have Dr. Fradley and his team do what they did on the cardiac side were we able to preserve a quality of life and a functional capability and a safety for the heart that neither team could have done independently. The interdisciplinary approach at Moffitt is extremely beneficial to patients, again, because my specialty is not cardiology. I am an oncologist. and. Dr. Fradley's specialty is not oncology, he's a cardiologist, and combining our two skill sets is really looking at the patient as a whole and, and not separating out or segregating one disease from another, but recognizing that these two things can go hand in hand. I think we're a pioneer in the field of cardio-oncology because of the excellent collaboration we have between cardiology and oncology in this institution. Not only are we providing excellent patient care, but we're also at the forefront of many different uh, research endeavors in the field of cardio-oncology. And as we learn more and more about how these cancer therapeutics can affect the cardiovascular system, I'm extremely hopeful that we'll be able to prevent uh, cardiovascular damage in the future. My glass is half full. Uh, I'm here because uh, my office is a place to be. You can't ask for much more.